Now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Hi again, everyone. The SEMO football team is back on the field. Day one of spring practice this afternoon at Hauk Field. I got to tell you, it was uh, beautiful out there. Great to see all the intensity on the field as well. Coach Tuke and the Red Hawks, well, they have a total of 15 practices, all starting today with a lot of positions on the line. SEMO coming off a disappointing 4-7 and seven record. So maybe you can look for even a little bit more of that edge, of that intensity in the practices this spring. One of the main lessons I learned is it takes what it takes. It doesn't matter what you did last year. You got to recreate everything, got to re-earn your job this year. And so I'm just looking forward to kind of just get back to, you know, kind of old Coach Tuke a little bit and uh, looking forward to uh, getting back to uh, those roots. The Red Hawks are also ramping up the activities surrounding their spring game coming up April 20th. Coach Tuke will fill us in on that tonight on Heartland Sports College Hoops. SIU guard Xavier Johnson has been named to the National Association of Basketball Coaches All-District 16 first team. Very impressive. He finished in the nation fifth in scoring. And then off the court, the search continues, of course, for a replacement for fired head coach Brian Mullins. In the meantime, a total of seven Saluki players have entered their names in the transfer portal. The 45-day uh, portal will close Wednesday, May 1st. A total of 1,800 college basketball players last year put their names in the portal. And a battle of uh, Bulldogs on the baseball field this afternoon. Great to see the Bolins out there. Notre Dame hosting a tremendous Portageville team. I'll have all the highlights and the final score for you tonight on Heartland Sports. We're going to take a timeout. 